And then towards the end of Surah Al-Layl, Allah tells us <coughs> Those who give up in order to purify themselves And not giving in order to show off Except for seeking the pleasure of Allah And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make them satisfied Meaning if you give, Allah will make you satisfied on and on in Jannah, Allah will give you and you will also be satisfied. Alam yajidika yatiman fa'awa Subhanallah Alam yajidika know the meaning of yatim? Orphans? Orphans? Yes. Did, did he not give you an orphan? Did he not find you an orphan? Yes, he yes. found you an orphan, orphan and then we will see you. And, and gave you refuge. Yes. Did you not give you? Uh, did we not find you an orphan? And we gave you refuge. Refuge referring to protection. What kind of protection did Muhammad have? His uncle. His uncle. Yes, his uncle. Before his uncle, there was someone else. His yes. grandfather. Hmm? His grandfather. Yes. So Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The ulama they say because Muhammad died. Uh, because Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, his parents they all died before the age of puberty. Therefore, he was an orphan. But Islamically, anyone who whose father died before they uh, reached the age of puberty is considered an orphan. Islamically, when the father passed away, because the father, the father is the breadwinner of the house. Yeah. <laughs> MashaAllah, yes. And we found you unaware, in other words. We found you unaware of this guidance and we guided you. <coughs> How did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide you? How did Allah guide Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? How did he guide you? It was a free revelation. Free revelation, yes. <coughs> revelation came to him, yes, indeed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also tells us in Surah to Namiya, Inna ma umirtu an a'abudya. إنما أمرت أن أعبد رب هذه البلدة الذي حرمها وله كل شيء وأمرت أن أكون من المسلمين وأن 
من أتلو القرآن فمن اهتدى فإنما يهتدي لنفسه ومن ضل فقل إنما أنا من المنذرين is commanding Muhammad sallallahu I have commanded you, umirtu an a'abuda rabda hadihi baldata so that you worship the Lord of this city, the one who made this city, meaning referring to Mecca and whatever is uh, disassociated beside Allah has been made haram wa umirtu an akuna min al muslimin and I have also commanded you, Muhammad so that you become among those who surrender themselves to Allah وَأَنْ أَتْلُوَ الْقُرْآنِ And so that you also recite this Qur'an. فَمَنْ اِهْتَدَى فَإِنَّمَا يَهْتَدِي لِنَفْسِهِ And whosoever is guided, then it is guidance. This guidance will be beneficial for themselves. وَمَنْ ضَلَّ فَإِنَّمَا أَنَا مِنَ الْمُنْذِرِينَ And whosoever has gone astray, then tell them or inform them that you, O Muhammad, are only a warning upon them. Subhanallah. Also, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in Surah to شعراء وكذلك أوحينا وكذلك أوحينا إليك روحا من أمرنا ما كنت تدري ما الكتاب ولا الإيمان ولكن جعلناه نورا نهدي به من نشاء So in the first ayat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was telling Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he shall only worship Allah alone and that he is supposed to be a Muslim. In this ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is informing Muhammad that the way we guide it is, is by saying وَكَذَلِكَ أَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ رُوحًا مِنْ أَمْرِنَا And we have revealed upon you Ruh. Ruh is another name of Qur'an over here. The ulama majority of Mufassirin, they say it referred to Qur'an. But a Ruh is also something else. Who? Jibreel. Anyone knows other names of Jibreel? Apart from a Ruh. <laughs> And you play. Anyone? How many? How many other names are there? There are about three or four. What is my name? No, no, no. It's in the Jews. It's in the Jews. I'm not one of the names. Allah talks about. You know the ayah says about who I put. How would you say Tani or Jim before that one? Yes, yes, yes. That's true. Not coming to me now. And so let's take away. So let's take away. So let's take away. And what does it start? As if we were to recite from Walayi the Asa, or Suga the Ila the Nafas. Inna bula kaulu Rasulil Karim. That's not. إنه لقول رسول كريم is another name of جبريل رسول كريم it does not refer to محمد yeah over here it does not refer to محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم it refers to جبريل جبريل because جبريل is the one who revealed to محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم إنه لقول رسول كريم ذي قوة عند ذي العرش مكين الله is describing his his side مطاع ثم أمين he's obeyed by who by the angels in the heavens ثم أمين and he's also trustworthy وما صاحبكم بمجنون and over here now he's speaking to Muhammad and Muhammad is not مجنون Muhammad is not مجنون so رسول كريم is one الروح روح القدس is also another name روح القدس there's also another one that's so you're paraphrasing روح القدس روح القدس yes there's another one is also 
قل من كان عدو لجبريل جبريل هو سوره فان فان الله عدو للكافرين what is his name in the Quran? Therefore, so Karim, a ruh, a ruh will Qudus and Jibreel, and there's another one, but I can't recall him. Yes. Al Amin, yes, Al Amin can refer to Muhammad, you can also refer to Jibreel as well. Al Amin, yes. No, no, in Surah Naj, Allah said in Surah Naj, yes, Ma Dhanna Sahibu Ma Dhanna Sahibu Ma Dhanna Sahibu Ma Dhanna Sahibu علمه another another characteristic of Jibril is علمه شديد القوة ذو مرقة فاستوى هو بالأفق الأعلى. This is describing his the way he is. But yes, those are the names referring to Jibril عليه الصلاة والسلام. ووجدك عائلا فأغنى ووجدك عائلا فأغنى فأغنى And we found you Muhammad How did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala found Muhammad? In what state? Yes We found you for and فأغنى and We made you We made you self-sufficient We made you rich how did you become rich? Caravan used to work there. Yes, business. And he was a businessman, trustworthy. No, no, yes. And who, what was the means of him becoming rich? Uh, what was the means for him to become rich? Was it through his work? Yes, why? Oh, Mashallah. Khadija. Khadija. Oh, Mashallah. Yes, she did. I wish I had the word to rich. No. That's one. That's it. That's what she prayed for. No, the, I mean, uh, Hassan, that's also one of the characteristics the Prophet said that the majority of people, they're married for four characteristics. Yeah. Uh, for the beauty, for the wealth, for, for the family lineage, or for the deen. But Allah, Allah's Messenger said, stick with the woman who's, who has the deen. If you stick with the woman with the deen, May your hand be full with dust. In other words, like may you may you be successful. Alhamdulillah. 